love our next guest. She's the Southern Nevada Regional Coordinator for Homeless Outreach. But she's also, as you all know, a Real Housewives binge watcher. And she's the President and CEO of Caridad Charity. So please put your hands together for Meredith Briggs. Come on out. What up? Hi. Thanks for coming out. Good all right. To see you. Okay, actually, you're on this side. Oh, Come over here. Just kidding. I didn't want to sit there. No, it? no. He had the better camera on you. That's all why right. we got to put you in that seat. Okay. Are you good at these? Or have you been in one yet? I have not. Oh, okay. Well, you haven't fallen over yet, so you're doing good. All right. Okay, so let's talk about. Uh, oh. No, I'm just, it's okay. Keep oh, you're going. just testing the I'm water. ADD. You're kind of just one of those people going. that wants to like, feel how far yeah. she can go, just keep another going. range. Yeah. I got you. Okay. Well, I want to talk about uh, this Nacho Daddy event you had, and uh -huh. I heard people were in their underwear, so it seemed like a logical place to start. People were not in their underwear. No. Um, actually, I'm, no offense to anybody, but I'm glad they weren't. Um, so we do a thing, it's called Undie Sunday. Um, the you charity. See why I got confused. We, we started. <laughs> we, <laughs> we started Undie Sunday. And it's a sock and underwear drive for homeless charities. And we actually started that, I started the charity back in San Diego in 2010. And so we started doing Undie Sunday drives. And we actually had a superhero who I shall not say his name. It's Joey from the podcast. Uh, well, no, no, this is pre-Joey. Oh. Pre-Joey, we had a, a, what I thought was a really creative name for a superhero, something to do with underwear. And we got um, a nasty letter from his lawyer saying that we couldn't use that name, that it's already been used in a children's book. So we had to come up with a I new have no <laughs> idea. I am so curious I'm not going to say it because I'm not trying to get the charity shut down. Okay, okay. But um, <laughs> so we have a superhero. We had everybody on social media come up with a superhero name, and then we had them vote. And so Mighty Tidy is our superhero. All right. You guys like that? So Mighty Tidy. Mighty so tight. so yeah. Joey of the podcast, uh, those of you that know him, he is actually our superhero, and he saves the world from bad sock and underwear donations. Wow. Good True for story. him. <laughs> I like that. Okay, so um, well, you've been dealing with uh, home, like the homeless situation downtown for a long time, and you've made it I pretty... Need to, hold on, I need to yeah, no, you can... Yeah, I thought you were a little more, too. Okay. Um, but yeah, but I wanted to uh, start by, like, you know, if you had unlimited resources in this charity, if it accomplishes everything you dream, how would downtown be different? Oh, that's a loaded question. No, I um, gave it to you ahead of time. Yeah. You should be all prepared. Yeah, no, um, this, <laughs> uh, this is, uh, well, the charity itself, I work with the existing resources that we have in this community, so we keep the cost down. Um, so really low cost um, per client, what we're delivering. But really, really, really what we need in this community and what we're lacking is a wet shelter. Um, we have uh, a really high homeless population in Las Vegas, but and a lot of folks ask me why. Um, there's a lot of reasons. It's a complicated, complicated issue, but all of our shelters and our existing resources you currently can't access if you are intoxicated. Um, so that's a problem. Oh, so it's even by a wet shelter. It's a place people go when they're drunk. To when start they're drunk. Sobering. Out. Um, yeah. Currently what this community uses as shelter and transportation, I call it taxi and hotel, um, are the hospitals and the police. So mm. that's a really, really Very expensive, expensive solution. Exactly. Right. So we really need to either lower our barriers or to create some housing for folks. It's called Housing First, um, to where you just put homeless into the housing, no questions asked, and other communities have done this successfully, and the federal government has proven this is right, and so they're changing the funding to where um, you have to do this, and so I liken it to a gift. Like, what's your what's your favorite thing? Like, if you could oh, buy anything, thing in the world? if you could buy anything, what would you buy? Oh, I probably want a robot. Oh, just a robot? Oh, like Osimo, like the, what kind the, of robot? the the um, Honda robot. It's a big robot. Okay. It's really expensive. Do you want something more? Okay, normal? so no, no. If you could get, how expensive? I don't know, a couple hundred thousand. Okay, so say you got that. Yeah, imagining. Imagine that you got that. Got it. Really cool gift, right? Yep. Okay, but. You so, so can't cool. take it outside, okay? All right. And you can't use it on the weekends. Well, that's the time he's and the best. And you have to go to bed at 9 every night to keep the robot. Would you still want the robot? Uh, and you I couldn't mean, show it to anybody else either. Oh, I can't. Well, would you I want don't it? know. I, and then I could just imagine it. Well, yeah. I, I don't, no, yeah, well, I mean, you, I don't know. Okay. Maybe it would take a lot away from it, but I'd so, still want it probably. Let's liken that to a homeless person. We give them a house, we make them have rules, they can't have their friends over, they have curfew, they can't you know, do all these things. It's kind of like your robot, well, what's the point? Why should I do this? You and I don't have those rules, why should they? Right, you know? right. Okay, 
Um, well, I want to talk a few numbers. So, like, I know you've been studying this for a long time, but um, tell me, oh, yeah, prepared. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, but, you know, I mean, I, I see homeless people all the time when I'm walking around, but I don't really know what's going on downtown. So could you just enlighten sure. me and the audience? Sure. Um, so I got into this mm, a little over a year ago in Las Vegas. I was actually doing homeless services in San Diego. I was homeless for a time. I don't know if everybody oh. knows that. I was no, homeless. No, not at all. Um, yeah, homeless. And you were a VIP host, but yeah. <laughs> I guess they're kind of our really yeah, weird background. background. <laughs> so yeah, I should start there. I actually, <laughs> I went to seminary school for those of you no. who might be some shocker like faces in the audience. Yeah, I went to seminary, seminary. school, homeless, VIP host. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah like everybody's. <laughs> And so I went story, to, yeah. I was a youth pastor for 13 years. I went to seminary, graduated with a master's in divinity, um, worked at a Christian college, um, was even doing some teaching, so adjunct professor, and then lost my job in 2008. Uh. It was the week that the market crashed back in October and found out that a master's in divinity in 13 years of youth pastor experience really doesn't count for that much in the okay. rest of the world. Um, so couldn't get a job, really struggled. Um, Oh, before that, I forgot. Yeah, there was an intermission. I did VIP hosting, which is really weird and whatever, but that'll gonna come into play in a second. Um, they called me Reverend Cocktail at the seminary, okay? Oh, man. Um, Reverend Cocktail. But yeah. So I uh, was homeless, lived out of my car, and couch surfed with friends, but realized with a master's degree, if it could happen to me, it could happen to anybody. Um, so then started the charity. And then came here, was burnt out, um, got back into it, um, kind of revived, loved the community here. And then have just seen a change, the surge that I was talking about with the federal government. They've really put some support into it um, to say, hey, you're doing it wrong, but here we're going to help you with the tools on how. And so that's how I became the lead in this community. Okay. And so I have numbers. All right, let's do this. So we have okay, here. so we have housed. Um, okay, everybody has you their little clapper this. hands. Get your clapper hands ready. Since January, this community has housed 322 veterans. Yeah, nice. Uh, Do you have the little clapper hand? Oh yeah, I got a clapper. Yeah, I'll do that. I don't. I didn't bring one. Okay. I'll do it for you. Uh, and then since January, we have housed 79 non-veterans. Yeah. Permanently, permanently <laughs> in housing. Oh, yeah. Lenny's got one too. Yeah. The little uh, the dog's so got one. So actually, there's a side note on these. It's Rocco, by the I way. use these in all my meetings. Um, I know I'm in charge, and I have like a lot of meetings with federal, city, county folks. And meetings get really boring and stuffy, and yeah. so we use the clapper hands. So it's boring and meetings, no more. Dogs. If we had dogs in my meeting, nobody would ever be angry. <laughs> like we could get a lot more done in my meetings. Deadly and Rocco. Yeah. Can we take Oh, those? they don't know when I whistle it comes Can I have them else, at yeah. my meetings? Yeah, you bring them. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know them. Okay, but we only get a couple of minutes. I okay. want to jump to your game. Um, any more numbers you want to throw out there, or are you good? Nope, nope. Oh, no, that's a good that's one. Okay, so yeah, so we're going to play a game with the audience. This is something Meredith came up with, and it's called um, Drunk Tourist or Homeless. So I see a lot of so crazy you, stuff when I'm So yeah, around. you guys get a vote on this. So this is very interactive. No, no, not homeless. I took the homeless out because that's kind of like, mm. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. What is it? So drunk or tourist? Oh, drunk. Just drunk, drunk or, or tourist. So okay. you guys got to guess. We're going to put up the picture. Are You've they got drunk or tourist? Okay, we're going to do it by um, sound of applause. So go ahead and do the first <laughs> one. Okay, drunk or tourist, guys. Okay, Yell are you going to tell the person in the middle? Just everybody. Just guess. What do we got? Do we got oh. tourist? Tourist? If it's a tourist, it makes a noise. Yeah, tourist. Okay. okay, how about drunk? Drunk. Who thinks they're drunk? Okay, next slide. <laughs> they're a tourist. They're not drunk. Ah, okay, you guys are next wrong. slide. Silver is complete. Okay, be. drunk. Okay, tourist. Okay, next slide. <laughs> He's drunk. Uh, okay, <laughs> next slide. All right, everybody. Drunk or tourist? Drunk, drunk. Okay, tourist. Oh, you gave it away before they got to pick. Okay, yeah. whatever. Yeah, he's drunk. <laughs> drunk, drunk, drunk. Okay, yeah, last yeah, you one. You don't drunk, 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 drunk or tourist? Drunk. Oh no way! No. Tourist. So, tourist. Next one. Next slide. Tourist. Oh, uh, tourist. Yeah, okay, I can see it in her eyes. Last slide. Last slide. Drunk. Nope. Oh yeah. No. Yeah. Nobody has a cape last on. Last one. Last one. Yeah, he's drunk. Okay, and he is. Neither. He's mighty tidy. I tricked you. Oh. That's mighty tidy. That's Joey from the podcast. Yeah, that's good. <laughs>
<laughs> Neither. That was a good ending. So yeah, some people got to split. So. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for coming out your charity. Thank Where you. can people check it out online? Uh, the it's, URL. Uh, yep. C A R I D A D Charity dot com or on Facebook. It is C A R I D A D L V or on Twitter. C A R I D A D. Oh yeah, it's on the shirt. It's on the shirt. All right, oh, everybody, yeah. give us support. <laughs> give Meredith a round of applause. Thank you for coming out, and stay tuned for our performance guests coming up next. All right, thank you. That was great.